Hey! So, YouTube user Edwin Zuniga asked if I was going to be making behind the scenes videos for Talking Classics, and I said, no, no, I don't have enough time for that. But then I thought about it, and I was like, you know what, I probably should try to do that. So, uh, this is the beginning of the behind the scenes for Talking Classics. And uh, I'm on my way right now to the hardware store to build a fake wall for one of <laughs> one of the two second jokes in the episode. So I have this joke I want to do where Keith's head goes through a wall and I don't want to ruin the walls here and they're pretty hard so I have to build the wall. Let's do it. Filming Talking Classics requires you to be a man. You need to be able to lift heavy drywall and lumber and two by fours and bricks and you gotta be handy with a paintbrush. You gotta be a multi-skilled masculine man in order to produce such high quality poor, poor jokes. Yeah. I also need to get these two things to shoot the intro of Talking Classics. They're always skates, but from the future, Keith skates. My dad's been a carpenter his whole life. He's probably built a hundred houses, porches, decks, you name it. He's done it. My older brother, Josh, he's rebuilding his house right now. My younger brother, Seth, he built his bed, mounted it to a wall, and built half the furniture in his room. All handy men building great fixtures that will enhance their lives daily for years to come. And now the weasel? I'm going to be a carpenter too. I'm going to build myself a fine, polished, painted structure of a wall that I can smash my face through. I got the drywall. Man, this stuff is heavy. Okay, I got it tied to the roof. Dang, that stuff is heavy. That's probably the hardest part of this whole thing was carrying this stuff and putting it on the dang roof and tying it on the roof and getting the sun burning my head and my arms are all huge and I gotta look like a muscle hunk walking around town. Everyone's gonna see me looking like a big man. This is not what I expected while doing this. <laughs> I want to be just like Bonk! Oh. I want to be just like Bonk! <laughs> I want to be just like Bonk! No. No, I don't. I don't want to be anything like him. His life is horrible. Let me just pause here for a moment to let you know that I had to build a new wall every time I smashed my face through it and then rehang the pictures and I'd break the frames and then I had to get new frames and put new frames up. Just a quick little fact I thought you guys might appreciate. So this took me 14 hours to do this one joke. Okay, let's continue. This is Keel, the knowledgeable steady cam operator. <laughs> He came highly recommended, as you can tell. That's his robot, Robocop gear. And we're doing the intro for Talking Classics. We have, I can't see it because it's so thin, fishing line to yank all these games off and hit Keith in the face. This is gonna be a good intro. I have real low energy because I just got up. So, but we're going for it and it's gonna be a long day. No, oh, of insanity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we are now out in the street in the one dry spot because it decided to rain today. And we're gonna throw games at my face. I mean, at my face, Keith, not Nathan. <laughs> so, Thrash Carlos is gonna throw Wario's Woods. This is the first pitch. Let's see if this works. See if he doesn't bust my head open, and Keith will be bleeding in the whole intro, which is which is an option too. All right, camera spin. <laughs> okay, right. Yep.
starting up. It just like woke up or something. I'm trying to just hide this fishing line. It's I mean, really if you're gonna degrade up. the video quality, you wouldn't be able to see it too much anyway. Right? Well, this is the HD part. Oh, duh, huh? the opening. Yeah, you can see that straight up, can't you? You know what we yeah. should? We should oh, just right. use a dental floss. Anytime. Camera speed. All ready. Yep. Hey, what are you doing with my stuff? What you gonna do about it? Come on, you're, you're taking my only girlfriends. These are my ladies. Look at their curves. Ooh. She's with me now. We're going She's with me now. up you the street. These ladies said they don't want another... They don't you want guys are the worst thieves. You're, you're so slow. Ah, <laughs> uh, my dang forearms. Yeah. They kill. Oh, hold on, hold on. Dang. So Excite bike's like the lightest one. I'm about to pass out just from that. Lame. What's that? Nice what do you want it? Uh, just up here anywhere. Here we are. I'll test. Filming Keith getting surrounded by the games, getting an above bird's eye view shot, if you will. Crash Jimmy. Stuck in the middle of the gigabytes. It's gonna be. I can't really replicate it, but something like something like this. So you can see his award-winning bald head. Chrome dome. Chrome oh dome. yeah, you're gonna get a mm -hmm. first bird, like uh, you know. You can see the bullseye. Bird's eye view of that bird the bird's eye view of the bullseye. Bullhead. Well, look how nice it is now. Right when we need it to be a controlled light, and all our K games are here. It's been raining yeah, all day. Yeah. It's looked real. It's looked like wind socket. Oh, that's, that's everything we're looking for. And now it's sunny. I mean, I guess I can't complain. Sounds good, but... Get the best lighting, though. The lighting is changing, guys. It's not being consistent. You really can't handle this Mother Nature being such a such a difficult lady. Maybe Come on. Just nature. do what you're going to do and stick yeah. to it. <laughs> hey, didn't the don't guy who made this... Why well, you got a product place, bro? All right. So just don't drop it from there, because that's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to freaking destroy me. We're going to lower a half What? Way. Yeah, right. You said higher? What? Higher? Carlos is going to shove it and then jump on top of it. That's Carlos for you. Does this look good, Keel? You bet. Oh, if you guys break my hip. <laughs> the old man hip. That's gonna be a wrestle. <laughs> I've got so much glare. So Ready? Yeah. One. Yep. Two. Three. three. Look yeah, who it is. Look who it is looking who it isn't. <laughs> 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 You're gonna be seen in the begin in the whole video. No, no, don't. Uh, no one wants to be seen. Stop. Well, you can look at me all you want, and you can look at this no, all you look want. Look at him. <laughs> oh, there she is, hiding underneath that black seaweed. Get out of here. Oh wow! Laszlo's driving to work. She never shows her face, but then she's like in the video. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. I'm mysterious. But you show your face, so you're not mysterious. Just want to give you guys a quick informational fact. The first episode of Talking Classics that I ever did, Keith wore this t-shirt. Mad Max. Original Mad Max t-shirt worth $500 on eBay. I looked it up. You can go check it out. It's still up there. No one's bought it. I'm not selling mine, so good luck. Anyways, Keith wore this t-shirt, and now, since I'm doing a new, a first new episode, I guess, it's like this reboot in a way, or just bringing it back, I figured Keith should wear his Mad Max shirt again, wear the same outfit. So, that's just a quick fact for if you want to have some history on Keith and his wardrobe. This is actually the tightest fitting shirt Keith has, all of his other shirts are crew neck sweatshirts, which I'm wearing one underneath this, but they're all baggier crew neck sweatshirts. He likes to keep it loose so he can move and be nimble and mobile and get away from the authority whenever he can. This tight stuff's kind of restricting. He only wears it when he's wearing his Sunday best. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. So this is my VHS camera that I shot one thing on a long time ago and I was gonna start using it for talking classics years ago and uh, I lost the power cord. It comes with a handy mic too. I should use this. It actually works. It plugs right in. But yeah, this is uh see I think I was recording on a copy of Home Alone. So that's what I wanted to use to shoot this talking context, but I gotta go find a power cord. I will be using that in the next episodes. 
But for the time being, I'm using this. I'm just using my 7D and I put tape on it so that I can tell like what I'll see because I'm going to have to cut all this off in post when I'm editing. I crop all the, I crop the sides off, make it 4 by 3 So now I can tell, you know, how to frame things and whoever's shooting for me, if I'm doing like a public thing, they'll uh, know what they're looking at. Here's a little uh, look at my editing. I show you, what can I show you? Um, here, here, you see, it's four by three, and, uh, let's see if I can show you how I do some VHS stuff. Uh, so sometimes, I don't know if you can see this, but... Fine, for the name alone. Such a full can, throttle name. You see how it's like, there's a double and image. And there's like an image behind an image. That happens a lot on VHS, so... What I do is I just put a shot on top of it and I make this one super faded so it only shows up a little bit on top of this main shot. And then I fade it so it kind of comes in gradually. I try not to overdo the um, VHS scene, the wobbliness. I just try to have a little bit of a quiver to it. It's actually a fine art, I'd say. I go through every single shot and I place exactly where I want the static to be and how much oversaturation and how much out of sync I want it to be so that it doesn't like feel too phony. In the beginning I had to sort of overdo it a little bit because it says how it's shot on VHS, you know? So I needed to like sort of emphasize that in the first frame. And it's also so, my name of this guy. Does a quick little quiver there, but I'm like super specific where I like want only sometimes I want it on the very very top, there's a little quiver you can see up there, and that happens for a little glitch kind of. Because I watch a lot of VHS tapes, and it's most of the time it's just on the bottom of the frame. It's like a constant quiver, like kind of like how up here I have that like glitching. Usually it's like down the bottom. So I did that here in this next shot. Anyways, that's how I do it. I go through and I just ruin it slowly. Um, but yeah, hopefully soon I can get a bottle cord and I can use this again. So there you go. There's a little more bonus information. <laughs>